What's up, guys? Today, we're working on a VOR question. We're going to go through the testing supplement and review uh, what the VORs look like to make it easier for you to understand what's going on on the knowledge exam. So here is the question, or here's the the uh, figure we're going to be looking at. Uh, we're just going to start from the, from the very top left and go through each one and see what they actually mean. And we're using this uh, VOR simulator. I'll post both of the links here for the testing supplement and for this uh, simulator in the comments. Okay, so VOR1 uh, is tuned to 210 with a two indication and a right deflection. Remember that the VOR indicator does not care about where your nose is pointed. Um, so I like to visualize that my nose is pointed in the same direction as the VOR indicator to make things simple. Remember that that, that might not be the case. It doesn't care where your nose is pointed. It only cares about the line in the sand that you've selected. So we've selected 210 with a two indication. We've got 210 in, I've got my nose pointed 210. So where is this airplane uh, to get that indication? 210 with a two. So we haven't reached the, uh, we haven't passed over the, the station yet. So we must be somewhere over here. And it is a right deflection right about there. So we are somewhere here in relation to the station. We have not crossed it yet, so we got a two indication. We got 210 dot in, and we got a right deflection. That means that we would want to turn right to get onto that radial or to get onto that uh, uh, that course and then uh, head to 210 to get to the station. So that's number one. This is your position relative to the station. Number two, we've got 210 dialed in again. So I'm going to keep my nose pointed 210. This time we have a from indication. That means that we must have already passed over the station and we're getting a from indication flying away from the station. And that needle is centered so that we must be, that means we must be on the 210 radial. So that's what it looks like. 210 on the VOR with a from indication center, needle centered. Cool. With me so far? I hope so. Cool. Uh, number three, again, we've got 210 dialed in. This time we have neither a two or from indication and there is a right deflection. That tells me that uh, must probably be, we're probably <laughs> in an area of ambiguity here. Um, we haven't passed the station yet and it is off to our right. Uh, so you see the plane is, uh, passing the station and there is no two or from indication and we've got a right deflection. Number four, again, we've got two one zero dialed in this time with a two indication. So we haven't passed the station yet. Uh, and it's slightly deflected to the left. So we must be somewhere over here and we're pretty close to the course that we've selected. Right, there we go. So that's what number four looks like. We haven't passed the station. We've got a two indication, so we're going to the station. And uh, we have a slight uh, deflection to the left. So the course is to our left. So to get onto it, we'd want to fly left, intercept it, and then fly a heading two and zero, go direct to uh, the VOR station. Number five, two and zero dialed in on the VOR, check. Uh, we have a two indication and the needle is centered. So we must be on the course. 2102 needle centered. Number six, we've got 210 dialed in. We have a from indication, so we've passed it. We're flying away from the station. And we have a slight left deflection, so it's off to our left. And we are pretty close to it, something like that. That's number six, 2102 uh, from, excuse me, 210 from. We crossed over the station and uh, we haven't, we're not on the, uh, the radial. Number seven, here we go. We're going to start changing things up. Number seven, we've got 030 dialed in. So let's dial that in. Uh, there we go. 030. And remember, the VOR, and we're basically selecting a line in the sand to or from the station, and we want to navigate to or from that station. So number seven is 030, neither to or from. And remember, your nose doesn't have to be pointed in the same direction. I just like to visualize, visualize that. Uh, and it's neither a to or from, and it's off to the left. So we must be here uh, in an area of ambiguity. We're not on the course and we are passing the station. And if it makes it easier for you to see or to visualize it, let's tune our uh, I turn our heading to that heading of 030. That's how it makes sense to me. Have the plane pointed in the same direction as the course you've selected. And that makes it easy. It's off to my left, obviously. Okay. Okay. 
All right, number eight, we've got 030 dialed in. I'm gonna keep my nose pointed at 030 to help me visualize what the VOR is telling me. And it looks like we are in a, we're, we're uh, to the station, so we haven't passed it yet. We're flying to the station. The needle is centered, <clears throat> the needle is centered. And so we, um, we must be on the course that we've selected and we haven't yet reached the station. So that's number eight. Uh, we are on a heading of 030, a correction, we have, are on a course of 030 to the station and we are on the radial or on the course that we've selected or a radial's point away from the station. So my mistake. And number nine, uh, 030 dialed in again, this time with a from indication tells me that we are on the course that we've selected and we're flying away from the station. Bam. Okay. So we've done all nine indications on the chart, on, on the uh, testing supplement. I uh, hope this helps you visualize what the VOR is actually telling you. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to drop them in the comments. And I will post both this uh, VOR simulator and the charts, or <laughs> I keep saying chart supplement. I will post the testing supplement down in the, in the uh, description. Uh, and I hope to see you guys in the air soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.